हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल सो हेयर वी आर डिस्कसिंग द क्वेश्चन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग लॉ ऑन कोर्ट फोर्सेज सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेट्स डैट मोनोकाप इज पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन अ प्रोग्रामिंग कॉन्टेस्ट विच फीचर्स ट्वेंटी सिक्स प्रॉब्लम नेम फ्रॉम ए टू जेड द प्रॉब्लम आर सॉर्टेड बाई डिफिकल्टी हाउ एवर इट्स नोन डैट मोनोकाप कैन सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम ए इन वन मिनट प्रॉब्लम बी इन टू मिनट्स प्रॉब्लम जेड इन ट्वेंटी सिक्स मिनट्स लाइक दिस सो आफ्टर द कॉन्टेस्ट ही डिस्कवर you discovered his contest log a string consisting of upper case letter letters such that the ith letter tells which problem monokar was solving during the ith minute of the contest if monokar had spent enough time in total on a problem to solve it he solved it note that monokar would have been thinking about a problem after solving it given monokar's contest log calculate the number of problems he solved during the contest so input is t the number of test cases n the duration of contest in minutes and the second line contains a string of exactly length n consisting of upper case latin letters monocar contest log and we need to output a single integer the number of problems monocar solved during this contest so let's look at the test cases the first test case is A C B C B C, and you have six minutes. So it takes three minutes for him. For A A A A F B C, it takes only one problem solved. And in case of this string, only four problems are solved. So let's uh, first analyze how the result is coming. so first i will write a b and c for the first test case so my a takes 1 minute b takes 2 minutes and my c takes 3 minutes now here in 6 minutes we are solving in this order so first we solve a One minute, A is solved. B, then C. C one minute is done. We move to B. B one minute is done. Then again to C. C one minute is done. Then B. B one minute is done. B is solved. Then we move to C. So C one minute is also done. So C is also solved. Hence here. All the three problems are solved. Now moving next, we have A, F, B, C. So A needs one minute to be solved. F is six. so instead of writing six like this six and p is greater than the length of string so forget about it c is 3 so a is 1 it is solved now again He is spending time on A, maybe thinking about the problem, but A is solved. Here. Then we move to F. So for F, still five attempts are left to solve the problem because it needs total six minutes. Now moving to P, one attempt is cancelled and rest is left, which is obviously more than the length. So P can't be solved. in 7 minutes and for c we are left with two more minutes to get it solved so only one problem is solved here like this we get the output for these cases now to do it fast let's count how many f are there so 1 2 3 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सिक्स एफ हाउ मेनी ई वन टू ओनली टू ई सो एफ कैन बी सॉल्व ई कैन बी सॉल्व मूविंग टू ए नाउ ए कैन ऑब्वियसली बी सॉल्व इन विच एवर केस इट इज देयर बिकॉज इट नीड्स ओनली वन नेक्स्ट इज डी वी हैव फोर डी सो डी इज ऑल्सो सॉल्व नेक्स्ट वी हैव बी एंड वी नीड टू मिनट्स ऑफ बी सो वन मिनट टू मिनट इट इज सॉल्ड इज एनीथिंग लेफ्ट नाउ ए बी डी ई एफ नाउ एच एच इज लेस एच कैंड बी सॉल्ड सी इज ऑल्सो लेफ्ट सी कैन बी सॉल्ड सो वी हैव आंसर एस फोर so the logic behind this is we need to count the number of alphabets if the number of alphabets are equal to the minutes to be given to that alphabet then we can increase counter by 1 else the count is not there so to do this what we can do you can first of all map your strings like your characters with the numbers on which they are solving the problem like a map to 1 c map to 3 and b map to 2 now after this what you will do you will find how many a are there in the string how many b are there in the string and how many c are there in the string and that also you will map in a separate map so when you create a second map here for this one so a is map to 1 c is map to 3 and b is also map to 2 so this is the map of minutes which we are forming you will form for whole a to z you can write a string containing a to z and you can make this map after making this map another map is made with the help of the string provided let the string be s so the count in s of each of these characters is represented here after that we will check if the value in this map this value is greater than equal to this value then we increment the count so count will be count plus 1 in this case and hence when we compare 1 is greater than equal to 1 3 is greater than equal to 3 2 is greater than equal to 2 so all three conditions are satisfied hence answer becomes 3 and you can see the output is 3 so like this you can solve this problem i hope you all understand the solution thanks for